A promise made and a promise kept. The lights have been turned on at the Lassages playing field, one of the more widely used facilities for cricket and other sporting disciplines. Parliamentary Representative for St. David, Honorable Oliver Joseph, who officially turned on the lights on Sunday, says he feels a sense of gratification to fulfill a promise made to his constituents. It is the largest playing field in St. David and it is the second ground for international teams coming to Grenada and therefore it was important that we have the lights. So today is a real historic day, March 13th, to turn on these lights. Every sport meet I come St. David's Catholic Secondary in particular, when I come to open the sports, they will be calling on me to provide the lights. COVID-19, of course, delayed it because of shipping problems, but I'm so happy today that we can turn on the lights and if we see the cricket match play on the light, the Track Blazers Club already preparing to have games under the light. Coordinator of Sports Colon Peters says the Ministry of Sports is pleased with the outcome of the project and looks forward to working with the various sporting clubs and organizations in the parish. I know the cricketers are excited, um, but I know the track and field people are more excited because St. Davis Gong, the last suggest Gong, who's all the 400 meter track. And if you look, it's about four to five fields in Grenada that, holds, that can hold a 400 meter athletics track. I, we can see from the, the development here in, in sports through some of the development program, through the clubs here, the, um, the, tracks, the St. David Track Blazer, with the adventure of Denise and Paul and Kwame with the teams that are training and the support to the parish and what you have done to the parish of St. David. I think it's a very, very wonderful moment for everyone. Paul Philippe, a member of the St. David Track Blazers Athletic Club and coach of World Traveling Champ Anderson Peters, says seeing the lights turned on is really a joyous feeling. I think it's well appreciated. It's timely right now. We, we are in the peak of, of the athletic season, as you know. Um, yesterday was the national championships, and athletes are in high gear in terms of preparation. But further on to this is that the, the field, being a field that is multi-purpose, um, on any given evening, is bustling with a lot of activities. You have cricketers training, you have the, the footballers training, you have a number of track and field persons, then you have the recreational people who's just walking to keep fit and all of that kind of thing. So it's something that is really welcome there. Rafael Crony, who has been involved in various levels of the game of cricket, also echoed sentiments of gratitude to the government of Grenada for the investment made in lighting the facility. It's one of our top facilities. We look at uh, our facilities around the country and you think of Progress Park and Tanti and some of the bigger facilities. And uh, this is really your first major cricket ground that have been lighted. And um, I think it's, it really would be, would create a, a lot of benefit for our sportsmen or cricketers in particular. We are now getting to see the, the quality of the lights for the first time under uh, uh, with this cricket match, uh, which certainly would, would indicate to us where we are in terms of lighting, in terms of the standard of the lighting. And we are very hopeful based on what we are seeing, the, the structure, the setup of the light is pretty encouraging. And at the height of the light, we think is, is you know, really is what it's supposed to be. We are very pleased with that. Two cricket matches were played under the lights on Sunday evening.